Pat Olson with you alongside uh, USF Don's uh, first year uh, head coach, uh, Todd Golden. Todd, that's got to have a nice ring to it. So <laughs> tell us how this transpired the last week or so that suddenly here you are, the head coach of the USF Don's. Got to feel pretty cool. Yeah, it feels great. Uh, happened quickly. Uh, you know, obviously over the, the success that we've had the last couple years, uh, you know, there were suitors for Kyle. Um, and he found an opportunity up at Washington State that was great, not only for him and his career, but his family. And it was something that he felt that he had to do. And uh, as I mentioned in the press conference, you know, these last three years, I've really been mentored by him and Scott Sidwell uh, for the time that this day came. And uh, once Kyle decided to move on, um, Joan and I got together and we agreed on the vision of this program moving forward and she promoted me to the head coach. Obviously, a nice thing about you staying on board is the consistency factor yep. remains. The players are all going to come back. We understand Kevin Hobdy will be a part of the coaching staff yep. as he was with Kyle. So that, there's that comfort zone aspect. Uh, expand yep. on that a bit. No, honestly, it was the biggest thing. Uh, this program has seen incredible growth over the past three years. And, uh, you know, continuity was the most important thing in terms of this transition. And uh, fortunately, you know, our staff has done a great job building the culture here. And the guys, you know, um, they're great, you know, and I, I feel like I have a great relationship with all of them. And fortunately for us, they've decided to all stay, which is really important to me. That was my most important thing when I, I got the job was to make sure that all 10 guys on scholarship came back and they're all coming back. As you mentioned, the continuity of the staff is important. I'm keeping three guys. Uh, adding Bill Cartwright, who's obviously an ambassador for the university yeah. and the program, which is huge. And uh, I was really honored when, when he agreed to join our group and, uh, you know, as a mentor, advisor, special assistant. I think it's going to be great, not only for myself, but for the rest of the staff to have somebody like him on board. You know, you mentioned that the, the, the program has gotten going, yeah. 20 wins each of the last three years. So yeah. in your mind, uh, what kind of things need to continue to happen to keep that success going, yeah. that, that winning culture that's been established here on the Hilltop? I, you know, I don't, I don't think it's any secret. We really just have to keep doing what we're doing, um, recruiting just really talented, uh, just really great kids who, who really identify with being great players on the court, but also high achievers in the classroom. We, we believe smart wins. We believe guys that are mature, uh, will do a great job in this program. So just continuing to search the globe for student athletes like that will be will be uh, massively important, as well as just trying to keep the continuity with our staff. And I think if we're able to continue doing that, we'll, we'll have we'll continue to have great results. Todd Golden with us here on USFDons.com, the uh, Don's new head coach uh, here on the Hilltop. Uh, as you jump into it, you mentioned you know you you, you served under Kyle for three years. Yeah. You mentored under Bruce Pearl at yeah. Auburn. You mentioned that over in the press conference. Sure. So how much will you draw from those guys, those experiences, yeah. as you meld mold your own uh, you know the Todd Golden model as yeah. head coach? Well, honestly, uh, I, it's an incredible thing to be able to do is to be able to look back also in my playing experience for Randy, right? And, uh, you know, yeah, Randy for Bennett, him, yeah. right? Playing yeah. for him, uh, obviously working for Kyle for five years after playing with him for five years and, uh, you know, working those two years and playing under Bruce, you know, I, I have three coaches who I, I would argue up against anybody in the country. I think those three guys are some of the best coaches in the land and, uh, they each have incredible strengths that I'm going to try to pull from and uh, kind of create a mold of all three guys and be the best I can be in those areas. As we look forward to, you know, next year, the, the, the schedule, what lies on the schedule uh, that you can reveal? Because I know yeah. people are always asking me, who, who are they playing next year? Yeah. So tell us what we know, uh, you know, coming to the next season. Well, you know, obviously we're excited to continue our, our games against Cal, Berkeley, and Stanford. I, I think those games are incredibly important for this program, and we're going to do everything in our power to make sure that we play those guys every year. Uh, after that, we're gonna, we are going to play our game against Arizona State that we lost this year due to the fires. Uh, I spoke to their associate administrator last week, and he promised me that we we're going to play that game here at War Memorial, which is huge. I think that's going to be great for us. Uh, we're going to be a part of uh, a tournament down in Hawaii. I'm not going to say which one yet because we haven't signed the papers yet, but we're, we're committed to, to playing two games here as part of it and two games down there. Uh, we're going to host a couple Ivy League schools. Harvard's coming back. Yale is coming back. And, uh, you know, those teams are going to really highlight it. We still have a game or two to get. And uh, we're going to try to make sure that our schedule is really challenging in the non-conference. We've seen you speaking of non-conference. Let's talk about conference sure. play now. We know how tough this league has gotten. Yep. It, you know, everybody ramped it up. And you look around the league, you know, a lot of teams have a lot of talent coming back next year. So what yep. do you see as the challenges next year in the West Coast Conference? You know, I, I think the biggest thing is, and we talked about it with our guys, if we're not improving, we're going to get passed up. That's mm -hmm. just the bottom line. I think at, to, to your point, you know, Pepperdine and Coach Romar, had a great first year. You can see some really, you know, big things coming from them and their program. 
uh, Coach Sendek got it going towards the end of the year. Those young guys started playing well. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there, I don't think there's a lot of programs in this league that are going the wrong way. So with that being said, we have to just continue to elevate as well. And, uh, you know, it's added pressure. But that's what you do this for, you know, to be able to play at the highest level. And I think the West Coast Conference, you know, we finished eighth as a league out of 32 this year. I, I could see us taking another jump one or two and be right in the middle of those Power Five conferences in terms of power rankings. What has to happen, you think, in your mind to have maybe the West Coast Conference become, you know, respected kind of like the Big East, yeah. maybe the, the Big East of the West Coast, if you will, where we're seeing multiple yeah. bids each year sure. to the NCAA tournament because you, you want to be a big part of that and Absolutely. have this team go to the NCAA tournament. Yeah, you know, I think uh, it's, it's just continuing this trend. You know, the West Coast Conference has done it before. Uh, but it's been a little up and down in terms of, you know, getting up to 8th or so and then dropping back to 12th or 13th. And it's really got to be that consistency. Obviously, we have it at the top with Gonzaga. You know, St. Mary's has done a good job. BYU's, you know, a great program. It'll be interesting to see how they continue on with Coach Rose. And then we feel like we're right there. We feel like we're the, you know, anywhere from 2nd to 4th in terms of the future of this league. And, uh, you know, I think the league, um, from a school standpoint, has made a concerted effort to raise the profile and invest in their uh, basketball programs and uh, it's going to be a challenge but I do believe this league will will take the next step up that way. Todd I can sense your enthusiasm yeah. you're ready to get it rocking aren't you? I am I definitely am. All right Todd Golden uh, Don's new uh, men's basketball coach here on the hilltop. Pat Olson alongside right here on usfdons.com.